of Brushflies, welcome back to my channel, Brushfly MUA. If you're new here, hi. My name is Mercedes and I'm the face behind Brushfly MUA. And if you are new, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you're not new, hi, welcome back. So today I have decided to do a video helping you guys if makeup YouTube is something that you want to get into. So done one before I think where I talked about like what equipment you would need and other stuff like that but I want to talk about makeup video ideas so a lot of people they like look at makeup youtubers and they're like oh yeah it's so easy but actually coming up with ideas can be quite difficult and you can sort of hit a wall where you don't know what ideas to do you've run out of steam so I have compiled a list of 50 ideas. I do actually have up to 200 ideas, but I will do like a series of videos and let you know what ideas I think are good. So let's dive straight in and I will give you my 50 makeup YouTube video ideas. Hopefully it will help you if you decide that makeup YouTube is something you want to do, or even if you're a makeup YouTuber and you've done a few videos, but you kind of forgotten or you've run out of mojo, hopefully this will help. So we have a full face of drugstore makeup. This is quite a common one you'll find on YouTube, like with makeup YouTubers, they will do like a makeup drugstore haul and then use all that makeup on their face. Or if their collection is mostly drugstore, they pull it all out and just do drugstore makeup on their face. It could be like from just one brand or a mixture of drugstore brands but it can also lead to doing a full face of high-end makeup which I think is brilliant as well if you can afford to do high-end makeup there are people out there like brides and just people that have a bit more of a an income that they can spend on more luxuries so if you like your high-end makeup you could also do that instead of drugstore then we have a full face of makeup dupes so dupes are like products that not necessarily copy what another brand has done but they have taken an idea and sort of made it their own so you might have like a cream blush from a certain brand and it goes viral then you will get like the more drugstore brands trying to mimic that so people that who can't afford the higher end one can also enjoy that same thing but at a cheaper price point so you could do a full face of makeup dupes that way people can see what is out there and sort of create the same look you created or if there's someone out there that has made a high-end video and you do the dupe version people will like that because they would be like huh I can't afford all the high-end stuff but I could get all that dupe stuff full face of makeup samples now feel unique and obviously like boots you can go into and ask for like foundation samples but feel unique they do like a sample service where you can order like I think it's five little samples for 3 95 and you can get like foundations concealers primers skincare perfumes but they also do a beauty box version where you can order deluxe sample sizes and this can vary from like lipstick to blush to mascara so you could collect a few over time and then do a full face of makeup samples. That's quite interesting to watch. Plus, if you do like a project pan, you could then, you know, incorporate that into that because you can use up these samples and then it's other things you have used in your project pan. That's also another video idea, but I'll probably say it again later. Halloween makeup tutorials. So people like to be really creative nowadays with makeup. It's not necessarily just doing a beautiful eye look or a stunning little ombre lip. People go full on out there and do these really cool and like special effects kind of makeup. So when it gets close to Halloween, a lot more people are going to be looking for ideas and inspirations for parties they're going to go to or even just for trick or treating. So you could do Halloween makeup tutorials and make it so people are just a bit more in the mood and interested and you can also show off your really amazing skills you can also do glam makeup tutorials so say if there's a celebrity that you really like 
and they look really mega glamorous you could try and mimic what they have done but do it like your own sort of tutorial wedding makeup tutorials as well brides especially like this time of year they're going to start wanting to get ready for like makeup for their summer weddings so you could post videos about wedding makeup tutorials the perfect wedding eye look the perfect wedding lipstick and you know get more brides watching your channel that could be quite a good way to get more people watching you but also to express your more glamorous and bridal side of things new eyeshadow palette tutorials so obviously this is a said and done one isn't it if you go on to any makeup youtubers channel they are going to be reviewing eyeshadow palettes but you know i thought i would add it in because sometimes if you've got into a rut like maybe you adore lipstick and you kind of forget about eyeshadow or you have loads of eyeshadow palettes in your collection and you've hit a bit of a wall maybe treat yourself to a nice new one to review you know give yourself a a bit of spice with eyeshadow a no makeup makeup tutorial so there has always been like this love for a natural beautiful glow and not necessarily a full-on glam makeup look some people want that some people don't but like myself i really struggle to do a no makeup makeup look because my skin it needs quite a bit of coverage to hide like blemishes or redness like anything like that so I really struggle with that so I would find it quite interesting to watch someone else do a more natural makeup look and then maybe I could try and copy it so there are going to be people out there that are going to find that interesting your own everyday makeup look tutorial so say if you go to work or you do the school run or just to run some errands around the shop you know whatever you do what is your everyday makeup look do you even put makeup on do you put just a bit of foundation on and a bit of mascara just a bit of concealer show people what you wear like facially every day some people assume that makeup youtubers wear a lot of makeup all day every day and that is not always the case some of us like when i do the school run i literally have foundation on and mascara maybe a bit of blush to make me look alive but i don't go full to town unless i really want to so that could be a good one to do your work makeup look so it depends on where you work like i work in a supermarket so i can most of the time get away with quite a garish eye makeup look everyone at work knows me for my makeup and even the customers do but you know maybe you work somewhere where you have to do more subtle eyeshadow or you know you are a drag queen as your job maybe you could show that off you know there's so many avenues you can take this down whatever you do for a job what is your work makeup look and maybe you can even change it up a little bit and do like a an interview makeup look so if you're going for a job interview you could do like a nice subtle makeup look or maybe do a different color depending on what mood you want to be so if you want to feel confident find a shade that makes you confident and say this is what i would wear to a job interview so you know there's loads of different ways you can make videos and ideas best of beauty so this one can be like the best things you have bought in beauty either that week that month that season that year you can then also swap it around and do like the worst of beauty so you can also do like a faves and fails video you know where you have your favorite products and the ones that have failed you but you could just focus on maybe the best ones or the worst ones that's like a group of free videos that you can kind of do but you know a lot of youtubers at the end of the year they they do like the best of beauty i bought this year and they have like their top 10 favorite products that worked for them and then they change it up and do like the 10 worst products that didn't work for them so there's always ways you can change things up or if you need like a series idea something like that you could do monthly or seasonally that way it gives you more oomph and something else to keep adding to your channel you could also do like monthly skincare favorites monthly hair care favorites you know it can be anything within like that universe you can do 
makeup reviews, obviously. So I said about eyeshadow palettes, but maybe you have a new blush or a new bronzer, or maybe you have bought just a whole load of new makeup that you really want to test out and review. Maybe there's a new mascara that's hit the shops that everyone's raving about, you want to test it out. Reviews are a must on Makeup YouTube, unless you are the more of a creative YouTuber and you do the more creative face paint looks. Reviews are probably going to be a big thing in your channel if you're not like that. Product empties. So this is where you use up your products, you put them in a little tub, you leave them there until you have a nice little collection of empty makeup, skincare, hair care products, and then you do like mini reviews about them once you finish using them up. So you might do like your first impressions initial review, like when you're reviewing products and think, yeah, yeah, I love this, it's brilliant, or no, it's not for me. Then when you have finished it and emptied it up, you might have completely changed your opinion on it. So it's good to do like a re-review and be like, oh, actually, I really like this when I first opened it, I don't like it now. Or yeah, when I first got it, I didn't like it. But now this mascara has it hit its prime after a few weeks, it's fantastic. So you know, there's many different ways to do that one. A makeup haul. So you could go to your favourite makeup shop, buy a ton of makeup, or whatever you can afford to buy, and then do a haul video where you just show what it is that you've bought, what you plan to do with it. You could even make it like a little vlog style, so when you're going to the shop, you could take pictures of the section of makeup you're looking at, maybe quick little videos. There's always ways to do that one. And then coming off of a makeup haul, you could do a skincare haul, a hair care haul, a fashion haul. You know, there's loads of different ways you can incorporate a haul. Maybe, you know, you could even do like a charity shop haul. So if you like to buy clothes from the charity shop, which I do, and actually I recently bought a load, so I probably should do a video of that. But you know, you could do that if you've bought a load of clothes that you really like, but they're like from the thrift store or the charity shop. You could show that off to your followers and your viewers, and that also shows them a bit more of your personality. Like, yes, I don't go and buy everything brand new all the time. I do like to look in the charity shop, so there's always a good way to do things and show people more about your life. So if you like to travel, you could do makeup you like to travel with, makeup you keep in your travel bag, your travel skincare routine, like anything like that. Like if you go on a plane, some people will do like face masks or skincare on a plane. Yes, you have to be careful with what you take onto a plane as to what they will allow, but you know, being on a plane can really dry your skin out with the air conditioning. Some people take a face mask. You know, you could show people what you're going to take with you and maybe even take photos of what you've done with it. So, you know, that could be a good idea. Then you have like makeup challenges. So there is the power of makeup challenge, which Nikki tutorials done where she did one half of her face with makeup. The other side had none. So you could see what she really looked like and what she looked like with makeup. And it shows how powerful makeup can be to the person wearing it and how it makes them feel confident and more like them. Then you can have like a three minute makeup challenge. <laughs> Trying to do your makeup in three minutes. I don't even think I could do that. I mean, I've got it down to 20 minutes for when I need to get up early and do the school run. I know I can quickly do my hair and makeup in that time and get dressed and get the kids out the door. But three minutes, that is pretty well. But you know, it's probably quite funny to watch as well. Like the YouTuber quickly like rustling all their makeup together and chucking it on their face. You can also do a no mirror makeup challenge. Yeah, I bet that would look interesting because obviously you're always looking in a mirror to do your makeup. So you can see that it sits right and it's blended right. If you have no mirror, that'd be funny to see what you look like. A £10 makeup challenge. So you give yourself £10 and you have to go into a shop and just try and buy as much makeup as you can for £10. Or you could do it in the sense that you have £10 for each product. So, you know, your foundation can only be £10 or under, your concealer can only be £10 and under, and so on. Obviously, if you can only spare one £10 note, the pound shop is a good place to go. You can also do that for any amount, so you could do like a £20 makeup challenge or a £15 makeup challenge. 
Some I have known to even do like a five pound makeup challenge because they're crazy. But you know, it's all something different. And I have even seen a makeup challenge by uh, Stephanie Toms, where she applied her makeup with a McDonald's chicken nugget. So, you know, you can always think of different ideas, something different someone else has not done to get people looking at your channel. Some challenges go viral, which is what you really want. Some of them do not, but if you're taking part in challenges, people are going to look for them, so you could get noticed a bit more anyway. Then we have like a drugstore versus high end. So you could do half of your face in drugstore, half of your face in high end. See if you can tell the difference. See if your viewers can tell the difference. Family, friends, and like see whether you think you actually need to buy drugstore or high end products. Then we have the full face of glitter makeup challenge. This is a goldie, but an oldie one. <laughs> like so many YouTubers did that back in the day. And you can also do it with highlighter as well, so the full face of highlighter challenge. Make yourself a glowing goddess. You know, you do you. Then you could do like a sponge or brush for application. Me, I love using my sponges for like applying foundation, concealer and all of that, but I know a lot of people prefer to use a brush. So it might be interesting to see, again, if you do like the half and half face, sponge on that side, brush on that side, and see which way you actually prefer to do your makeup application. So and so does my makeup challenge. So it could be my best friend does my makeup, my boyfriend does my makeup, my girlfriend does my makeup, my child does my makeup. There are so many ways you can change that one up and also get quite a few videos out of that instead of just one. You know, if you can grab a group of people, yeah, so and so you do it this time, but next time you do it. That's just quite a fun way to get your family and friends more involved in your channel. And hopefully then they would share it between their family and friends. So you would potentially get more viewers that way as well. Then there is the pass the brush challenge. So this is where you have like a blank canvas of your face. You swish your brush at the screen on the camera. And then when you pull the brush away, you're fully made up. Then you can just like drop it or chuck the brush in a certain direction and then if you can get someone else to do that with you it looks like they catch the brush and then they do it it's a really good way to get other youtubers involved what's in my everyday makeup bag so this one if you've got quite a nice big collection you can sort of look and see what you're using on the daily show your followers what you're using on the daily you know what is your everyday makeup yes you might have a really big collection but actually on every day you might only use the same foundation concealer eyeshadow lipstick it'd be nice to show that off so people can see what it is you actually really wear other than when you're on youtube 50 questions no one asks so this is where you can think of questions or it is actually a thing on YouTube, you can look it up. And it's questions that no one would ask, like, what side of the bed do you sleep on? What is your natural hair colour? You know, m most people will ask a makeup YouTuber, what's your favourite lipstick? What's your favourite eyeshadow? What's your favourite blush? Whereas these questions are completely different and can show your followers and your audience, again, a bit more about you. YouTube made me buy it. Instagram made me buy it, Facebook made me buy it. You can take that in any sort of direction. But you know, you get like the personalised ads. If you love makeup, you're probably going to have some form of makeup ad on your social media. So you can sort of maybe buy a few of the items that they've showed you and do like a review on those. Would you rather in beauty? So I found this on Kelly Gooch's channel and she sort of asked so many questions so she'd be like would you rather lipstick or eyeshadow um if i remember i'll try to link her video down below so you can play along as well but that one's quite a good one because then you get to know what you actually would prefer so like if you could only have half your makeup collection because some of it would have to go you'd see what you would rather keep and what you would not ride or die makeup tag so that is your products that you love like you cannot be without they are your ride or die products so if there is a certain setting powder you can't live without that is your ride or die but with that one it will go through like the whole way of makeup so like 
facial oil, serum, moisturiser, then foundation, primer, you know, everything that you would use, what would your ride or die product be? An anti-haul video. So this is one where you might look at current releases, what brands are bringing out, and you can discuss why you actually don't want to buy them. There's this big thing on YouTube where there is so much makeup being pumped out that we feel like we have to constantly buy to get people interested in watching our channels. But actually, sometimes it's nice to take a step back and have a look and think, actually, I don't want that. It's the wrong shade for me. I don't like the amount of product you get. The price point is stupid. The packaging is flimsy. And you can discuss why on your channel that you don't want to buy it. And it becomes like a little commentary anti-haul. So that's quite a good one. Makeup bargain of the week or the month of the year. I do this one sometimes, like it's a running series on my channel, but it's not one I do on the weekly. So I might buy a certain makeup product in the sale from Boots or TK Maxx and say it was heavily discounted and then I bring it home and I actually fall in love with it. That would be my makeup bargain of the month. I tend to do it monthly because I have like a monthly budget that I set myself that I can spend on makeup. So not a weekly budget, but a monthly one. That way I'm still getting new products into my like routine, into my collection and for my videos. But sometimes it might only be like a small item. It might be like one random lipstick or a concealer or a blush or a mascara that was reduced down because maybe they're getting rid of them or maybe the packaging's changing. So, you know, I like to do that. You know, makeup bargains and me, we're definitely a thing. I love a good bargain. Makeup books worth reading. So to gain knowledge for makeup, one of the things you should do is obviously watch makeup YouTubers and people do their makeup online. But another way to learn about makeup is to do the theory side and that is to read a lot of books. There are quite a lot of books out there on makeup. Some of them I think are fantastic, some of them are so-so. But you know, you could recommend the ones that you actually really like, the ones that bring you inspiration, the ones you think would help other people. So yeah, that's another one that I would highly recommend doing. Plus you might find some books from other YouTubers that you haven't discovered yet, which would be quite good. PR and purchase makeup unboxing. So PR is public relations, so a brand, once you start doing your YouTube channel and if you hit certain milestones, if you catch the attention of certain brands, they may send you a product every so often to test out. Sometimes people get sent a load to test out. Like, it all depends on how big you are, how honest you are, whether the brand trusts your opinion. But yeah, you could do like a little unboxing. Sometimes I will go months and I will not receive anything in PR. And then all of a sudden I might receive like a handful of items. So it's nice to do like a little PR unboxing. If you don't receive PR, you can do a purchase makeup, a bit like a makeup haul though. But maybe you've not bought it all in months. Maybe you've bought a couple of items one week, a couple of items a month ago, a couple of items today, and then you think, oh, actually, I've got all this makeup, but I haven't used it. Maybe I can just unbox it on screen. So that's a good way and a good video to do. A day in the life of a makeup YouTuber. So us makeup YouTubers, we're fairly normal people. Like we have other jobs that we need to do. We have errands we need to run. We might have children to look after or people that we have to look after. There's loads of different things. So you could actually film a day in the life of you so people can see what your actual daily life is really like. I think a lot of people on YouTube, like when they watch YouTubers, you only see the best parts of someone's life. You don't see the crappy times of when you spilt milk down yourself at the supermarket or when you accidentally reverse into a lamppost or, you know, all those crappy things. YouTubers don't put on their YouTube channel. They want people to see the best. Oh my God, that actually made me jump. Like that, you know, someone making you jump. Um, how rude. But you know, a day in the life of you could also make your audience connect with you a bit more, understand you a bit more. You know, they only see you when you are applying your makeup and when you're talking to them. They don't see you outside of that zone. 
so that could be quite a nice one to do to get more connected with your viewers. So I'm hoping that was 50 video ideas. I will be doing another video with hopefully 50 more. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it has become quite helpful. Obviously makeup YouTube is not easy. You do have to think of ideas all the time. Some of them fun, some of them not. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.